Well, welcome back to the bathroom renovation. Hopefully you watched the first one of me stripping out all the tiles on here and all the loose plaster, as you can see, the walls are now bare. Right, first job in this project, we've uncovered some random holes. One up there above the toilet. So we're just gonna chisel these last bits of mortar out there, re-brick that up. And over here, they've boxed in they boxed in the old um, vent that used to be in this room, but we're gonna take that out. We're gonna brick that up properly. And then obviously the holes we had um, in the walls here where the old frame for the tank used to sit in there. So we're gonna get these bricked up with a few bricks we got laying around. And then what we'll do, we'll try and see if we can remove the bath. All the old lead waste down the back of there and all the junk that's down there. <laughs> so the overflow of that just goes straight out the wall and over the path in the garden. So we've got new parts to put in there where the overflow connects up to the drain pipe. And then we'll change all these fittings over for the new stuff and put a new PVC pipe out the wall. All right, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> Run the intro. Just going to chisel out these last bits of uh, mortar that are left in there now. Uh, we'll get that out so we've got a nice space to get our brick and our new mortar in. clean and smooth opening to fit our brick in there. Uh, we've got one of our ties to our outside wall here. Make sure we get that tied in with a new brick and then we we'll just get a spray bottle, brush your dust out of there and then just, just get some water in there. I think it just helps the cement stick to it a bit better. It clears some of the dust out. You can see the bricks soak up the water pretty quickly. Right, now we're just going to do the same. We're going to take this box out. Yeah. There we go, that's out. It's got a bit of slate over the top. It's made it so that does open. You can actually pull that open if you wanted to. I wonder if that's what it was originally like. So we should be able to get a whole brick in there, but we'll clean this up. Get some bricks under that one. All right, let's get our bucket. Gloves on. All right, time to mix up some mortar. Uh, I've got some multi-purpose mortar. It is awful stuff. Let's just pour some of this in there. This is god awful stuff. I have got some proper building sand and cement downstairs but I just want to use this up so little jobs like this I can just get rid of this. Get away from some of this dust. Once you've got your well in the middle we're just going to pour some water into there and then just bring our, bring our mix over on top of the water. And what we'll do we just slowly mix this together. done any work with cement and bricks and stuff before well I've done bits and pieces that's why I've got cheap old tools all right so let's get this and my brick up into the first hole I know it's a bit hard for you to see but it's very hard to be in this corner trying to do this just put a bit more powder in my mix Put some mortar on the side of the brick as well. Remember, we've got that wall tie behind as well. Right, I'm making a right hash 
dash of this. Right, let's try and get some in the top. Just get some more on our trowel, hold it up to the top of the brick. And slide it in a bit at a time. Well, attempt number one. Hopefully I'll get a bit better as I go along. You never know. Right, let's go on with the rest of them. You know I'm long, I think the uh, I think the bath's got more um, water mixing it than the the wall has, but I'm no expert. Come back when this is done. All right, so the bricks are in. They're all setting nicely now. They're all good. They're absolutely solid. They're not going anywhere. So now what we've got to do is look at getting the bath out. So we're just going to go under here. You can see we've got our overflow that's going up to the top. We'll just unbolt that one, take that one out. And underneath, just there, we'll unbolt that one. That's how our waste pipe is going out of the wall. They're pretty much sort of going out the same hole. Hopefully a 40 mil waste pipe will um, go through there. I'm sure it's 40 mil for this one. Now the trouble we might have with this bath, because it's cast iron or there's some sort of metal, um, this bath is so tightly wedged in there. This is with the plaster off the wall. And I've only got a couple of mil down there. And even back here, this has still got some of the plaster on it and it's buried in the plaster. So the option is now to remove a line of plaster along here and probably take the plaster out on that side as well. So once we've done that, it's just to slide the bath all the way up over towards me. I think I need to take a bit more plaster off of that side. Oh, I've managed to just tip the bath on the side for the moment to show you what we're doing. Uh, we're now gonna, we've already taken out, we've already taken out our overflow cover. That just literally screws onto you know, the lead pipe that was in there. Uh, so we just got to unscrew our waste channel now. Just got a, a simple chrome and bass waste and overflow. So where before the overflow went out the wall and onto the path, the overflow is now connected up to the waste system. So first things first, this nut on the bottom of here should just hopefully undo. Although it has been on here for God knows how long. Wow. I'll just push it back the other way, see if we can just break the seal. <coughs> My good God. Right, let's go and get some WD-40. Oh, I'm just gonna spray some of this around the bottom. Okay, so that's been on there a little while now. Let's try and give it another go. Make sure that's nice and snug on that. <clears throat> nah, that is not budging. Right, another thing you can try. Either try getting a screwdriver and wedge it in there, or I'll try my crowbar, put it on the edge, and then just hit the top. And sometimes just the shock will break the seal on it. Yeah, it's not budging so far. <coughs> Here she comes. Oh. 
you know, your last result is to get your get an handle grinder out and sort of cut your nut because you are gonna it's all getting replaced. So this should be getting easier to undo. And there we go. The old fashioned way. Big solid metal brass nuts. I should just be able to tap this now and it should just pop out the drain the other side. There we go. That looks like a big old, no it's lead. It's a big lead washer that's just been molded and folded around it. Wow. There's the inside that's just popped out now. As you can see all the mastic around there. Everything that's holding it on. Right, so there we go, that's our hole now. So we're gonna get this good clean out on the inside. That's the inside, so we'll give that a good clean, make sure we get all that stuff off there. So that's all gonna give us a good seal for our new waste and overflow. it leaked everywhere. Time to rip it out, start again and use a lot more silicon. It's time for me to be moving on. Now we're gonna make sure we get all the just peel all the silicone off everywhere. Silicon, silicone. Yeah, clean everything up again, make sure it's perfectly dry. And then this time we're just gonna whack a lot more silicone on there. Right, this time we are going overkill. I mean, it did suggest to put a small bead of silicon around there, but we are now going large. This time, we're gonna get a good bead of silicon sealant around here. And we'll push our first washer down over that. And then this is the seal that goes on our bath. So, put another decent sized bead around there. Right, now I'm just going to drop that into a hole in our bar, making sure that it's central. Right, now this is the one that will seal the underside of the bar. So we've got a good bead on there. Right, so we're just trying to gently slide this up. So that's up into place under the bath now. Silicon will just help it stick and stay there. Now we're going to take our overflow. You've got a thin side and a thick side, the thick one's the bottom. So we're just going to get a bead of silicon around the top of here. It's a lot thicker than what is really needed. So we've got that on, just be careful. You don't get it on your threads, keep them clean. So that's held up in on there. And then we got our last rubber washer. Again, good old bead of silicon around that. If this leaks now. I'll be amazed. So it, slide that up into place. And then we can just put our nut on, which it shouldn't need silicon around this one. So I'm just reaching inside the bath at the same time, holding the tap in place at the moment. The tap, the waste. The overflow will be bloody turned around as well. Hopefully that will do a full 360. We'll do just use our little, little wrench just to hold on to that thread. So it's not twisting your tap round at the top. We can just get our wrench in here and just lift it up a bit more. Yeah, it's nice and tight in there. That's yeah, nice and tight in there, you can't move the waste in the top. So just to tidy things up a bit now. Just get around here and wipe some of this excess off. 
Now what it does say in the structures as well is to put a bead of silicon just around this one, not on that one on the inside, just on this one on the outside. So, like before, overkill. That's it, good bead round there. And then we'll do with this one is plug it through the top. Your overflow just screws in then. One the ten pipes. Right, just sit there in the place. And you screw your overflow on. And see if I can leave the washer off for this because I'm not getting enough thread through. I don't know whether it's because of thick bath. Now leave the washer off just silicone up our overflow and see if this will thread one now. So since we're just going to clean off any more silicone now and we'll let that dry and hopefully it will be done. Alright that's then all you need to do is push this pipe back on and then obviously just connect your waist back up after that. I'm not going to do that now because I need to pull the bath out and do some other work and uh, sort out the wall behind. So I'm just going to let all that silicone go off now. Get on with some other stuff and then we'll test it later. So that's it in there now, everything's connected up. So now let's just turn the taps on and test it. That's it, we've got no leaks at all. Good stuff. And off she goes. There we go, not a single drop. So the moral of that story is, if it says use a little bit of silicon, use plenty of it. <laughs> right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, got lots more to do. Like this window frame I've changed here. Change the window frame, put a new window seal on. Yeah, we'll show you how we took the old, the old window frame out, the old window sill. The edge had been uh, snapped off where they had tiled over it. Yeah, please like, please subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notifications of when I upload this video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. So why don't you do it yourself and save yourself a ton of money. I'll see you in the next one.